welcome you guys to uh, In the Music Room. A few years ago, we had the pleasure of uh, meeting this young man that's up on the stage. He came and did a radio show with us. We just had a lot of fun with him, and we've got to know him, and we've, we've got to nurse him through a big, bad car wreck and a lot of other stuff, sending him moral support across the miles and miles. But y'all welcome, please, Mr. Eric Summer. Yeah. Wonderful to be here. Thank you, thank you. When I first discovered Randy, or they discovered me, I think I discovered them. It was uh, wonderful to be here, and I think I had so much road dust on me that I wasn't really sure where I was. It was okay. You know, the great thing about these are they are small and intimate. And as Pete Seeger, who I met when I was 10 years old in uh, Falmouth, Massachusetts, at Woods Hole when he was doing a concert, and that's what sort of got me going, uh, he said recently, if you want to make a difference, small rooms are the way to go. And he's absolutely right. And this is a gem of a gem of a gem of a room for exactly that. So in order to try and make a difference, this is a, a song called Sunny Afghanistan. And I was playing in Winona, Minnesota to, for the Frozen River Film Festival. Now, you never want to go to Minnesota in January. It's just not the thing to do, but I didn't know anything. And uh, so I was up there, and it was 25 degrees below zero on the other side of the glass. Did my set. There weren't many people there. Obviously, nobody comes up. But it was great and very well received and a lot of nice people. And this one guy came up to me and said, thanks for coming up because they don't get many visitors. I said, wonderful to be here. How are things in Winona? He said, things are terrible. I'm like, dude, what? How? It's beautiful. He was the co-chair of the ethics department at Winona State, and his partner had been going to Afghanistan for seven years giving ethics counseling to the contractors in Kabul and in Afghanistan. He came back after seven years and said, I cannot do this anymore. The UN is taking all the money and the weapons we give them, selling them on the black market, keeping the money, and the people who are defenseless against this scourge called the Taliban, which is a 7th century blood cult. And so he quit his tenured professorship at Winona State, moved to Kabul because he'd met, met enough people, and started an arms dealing business to help the people protect themselves. And I thought to myself, now, there's a guy who, who's trying to make a difference on his own. Regardless of his own personal safety, he went and he did this. What's the life expectancy of a white Catholic middle-aged arms dealer from the Midwest <laughs> in Kabul? It's got to be minutes. And here he is five years later, and he's, he's still there, and he's really doing it. So what a, great, what a great story to tell him. What a great song to sing. So this is about by me for him, about him, by me, about him, called Sunny Afghanistan. So... <laughs> Spent years pushing paper till my efforts were revealed. I was a lapdog for the meek, obedient and well healed. Corporations put me on their payroll, invited me to speak, explain the ethics of the righteous and the harmony of the meek. Now I'm dealing guns in Kabul, making a difference where I can, dealing automatic weapons by the ton in sunny Afghanistan. Automatic weapons by the ton in sunny Afghanistan. And then when I was done, their requirements fulfilled. They used my passion and my good intentions as their shield and chill. I decided to take a stand, make a difference on my own. Everyone who used me is reaping what they've sown. I'm dealing. In Kabul, making a difference where I can dealing automatic weapons by the ton in sunny Afghanistan. Dealing automatic weapons by the ton in sunny Afghanistan. My truth is what I make it, my soul is at peace. I did try to put a stop to this madness that has robbed me of my truth. I had to take a stand, make a difference on my own. Now everyone who used me is reaping what they've sown. I'm dealing guns and cobble, making a difference where I can. Dealing automatic weapons by the ton in sunny Afghanistan. Dealing automatic weapons by the ton in sunny Afghanistan. And then when I was done, 
their requirements for fair. They use my passion and my good intentions as their shield and shield. But I decided to take a stand, make a difference on my own. Everyone who used me is reaping what they've sown. Now I'm dealing guns and cobble, making a difference where I can. Dealing automatic weapons by the time I'm in sunny Afghanistan. Automatic weapons by the ton and MO2 in sunny Afghanistan. Thank you guys. I had a really bad car accident January 29th and uh, buying a car was a miserable experience. This is a song about buying a car. I make my way to the used car lot. Gotta get a new car. I found a beauty I drove here my New Year's brand new car I got it home I polished it up I gotta have a new ride And I got up the very next day But that car won't drive No matter So I rolled it up the driveway I threw the key away But I loved that car of mine I use it every day Filled it up with postcards Everywhere I Put them there on the dashboard With some tape and some kitchen pill No matter what I did That engine wouldn't turn I tried and how I tried I sit in that car every day and travel the world far and wide Travel the world in that car of mine and that car won't drive guys song for anybody who's ever taken a cab anywhere in less than, in less than a satisfactory experience. Usually that's everybody in the room. I woke up in Cleveland Not a penny to my name Girls at the front desk 
said, boy, that's such a shame um, I tried to explain Got in my own way Judge didn't even look upon us And we talk again I caught a cat Followed it down Honey, I never come in Up in Hoboken with a lamp sheet in my head. Had to get on on me, smoking head. Well, I went out to Flatbush, flagged that Jojo down. Devil was driving, we headed right on down. I caught a cat, followed it down. Honey, I'm never coming. See my family When I walked in front of They all ganged up on me That boys took my clothes Girls rode me hard I ended up the next day In someone else's yard I caught a cat Followed it down Asphalt crawl Looking for the truth Everybody at the red light Laughed at my abuse Oh, I tried to go downtown Swing my own chain Judge didn't even look up on it Thirty days again I caught a cat Followed it down Honey, I never come in Followed it down, followed it down, followed it down. I called a cab, followed it down. Honey, I ain't never coming. Thank you so much. And how about a big hand for Dr. Randy because the operation required to remove whatever was here before and place <laughs> these wonderful seats here is strategically magnificent. <laughs> Outstanding. Now it's like a real thing. Now it's, this is really magnificent. This is a little tune. Uh, <laughs> So I was playing a little show in Charlottesville, Virginia. And uh, by the time I finished, it was about four o'clock in the morning. 
and it was in August, or it was pretty hot, and uh, I was going to find some place to sleep, and I remember driving down like 72 onto 15 and out into the, you know, the Virginia countryside, and there was a full moon out, and uh, leaves were just silvery, and it was really magical, but man, I was beat, so I saw this huge field, I was like, yeah, buddy. And I pulled my little Chevy Blazer, which used to have 500,000 miles on it, right into the middle of that field. I was like, this is heaven. And I sacked out. And all of a sudden, I woke up, and I was in the middle of a farmer's market. So they built this farmer's market up around me. And I said, that boy is too dangerous. Well, should, we'll just leave him there. And so I, I got up, and there's a knock on the window. And I looked over, and there's this guy there. He's rolled down the window. And he says, yeah, you're here all day, pal. And uh, here's a cup of coffee and enjoy yourself. I'm like, okay. So I got my coffee and I'm like wandering around. I was like the attraction for the uh, farmer people, market type people. And I'm walking around and I'm walking around and I'm past all the like woodworking things and all the jams and the jellies and the um, all the all the instruments. They have instruments up there and the fiddles and then the uh, taco, not the tacos, the hot sauces and all that stuff. It was pretty everything and the soap and the candles. Things are going pretty good. And I walk down this one row and I look down at the end and there's a guy there with a a white beard the size of a Frauhoff mud flap. And I get closer to me and he stands up. He must have been seven feet tall. And I walked right up to uh, like the brace and suspenders, like eye level. Kind of closely and he had a little name tag. He said, Farmer Brown. I said, dude, I've been looking for you since third grade. This is great. <laughs> so, so you know, it, everything brought full circle. So this is a little song for Farmer Brown, about, about Farmer Brown, by me, for him, called Farmer Brown. And the dogs are on the run You made a mess of everything Now your day is calm Farmer Brown, Farmer Brown Look what you have done Farmer Brown, Farmer Brown Look what you have done You opened up the gates And the chickens are on the run you made a mess of everything Now your day is calm Farmer Brown, Farmer Brown Look what you have done The sun is in the sky We is mighty high Apples are in the orchard Big hawks in the sky Sun is shining brightly Dogs are here now Pigs are running home And the old boys start to shout
and the doctor on the run. He made a mess of everything. Now your day's gone. Farm Brown, Farm Brown. Look what you have done. The sun is in the sky. The weeds mighty high. Apples are in the orchard and big hops in the sky. Sunshine brightly. Dogs are here now. Pigs are running home. And the old boys start to shout. so much. Doc Watson was very kind to me. He's very helpful. He didn't really show me anything, but he showed me how to live. And he showed me how to live through the songs and how to play a song and have it become yours. And I had just gotten to know him up in the Johnson City area. And then he uh, died in June, June 27th or 28th, I think about three or four years ago. And one of the great tunes that he does is uh, Sitting on Top of the World by the Mississippi Sheiks. Cream does a great version of this called Sitting on Top of the World. So this is my version uh, of that song. in the spring, one sunny day, my sweetheart left me alone, she went away, and she's gone, honey, I don't know where I'm sitting right on top of the world, I'm sitting right on top of the world. Called me up from El Paso, said, honey, darling, I need you so. She's gone, honey, and I don't, don't worry. Well, I'm sitting right on top of the world. I'm sitting right on top. Said, honey, please, I need you so bad, darling, can't you see? And you are gone, honey, now I don't know where I'm. Well, I'm sitting right on top of the world. I'm sitting right on top of the world.
Like my peaches down, don't you shake that tree Leave my orchard hard on you But those peaches be you all gone on it Now I don't know where well, I'm sitting right on top of the world I'm sitting right on top of the world Don't you call me running Holding out your hand I get me warm like you got your man, you're gone on it. And I don't know where I am. I'm sitting right on top of the world. I'm sitting right on top of the world. Thank you so much. When I started out, I was playing a lot in New York. One of the places I really enjoyed playing was the Bowery Poetry Club. The great thing about the Bowery was everybody had been there, if anybody knows that. Jack Kerouac used to hang out there. The big guy who was always there, drunk, or was Allen Ginsberg. So every year, they have a reading of his poem, Howl. And when that day happens, it's like in early August or something, every piece of human flotsam from lower Manhattan just like oozes up the Bowery and they camp out there. This is like when I was just like under Ray Koch and it was just, you know, anybody could do anything in New York at that day in those days. And there was just like this sea of people out in front. Uh, It would start about two or three in the morning and it would grow and grow and grow until about eight o'clock in the morning. There were like three or four hundred people out there and everybody who showed up got a chance to read. You could get a word, you could get a phrase, depends on how many people. One of the great guys who I met there, who uh, just became a huge uh, fan and a friend for a while, was a guy named Bingo Gazingo. Bingo Gazingo, his real name was Taylor Mead, and he was the last surviving member of Andy Warhol's electric factory. So this is before OSHA, so he had literally fried his brain on acetone. And he was a wonderful, lovable, fun human vegetable. And you couldn't tell where the, I mean, the lights were on, but anyway, and so, but one of the great things about him was even in his lack of connection to the real world, he would show up and pull these things from his pockets. He'd be saving all year and he'd read a phrase and throw it out. Pull over here, pull this little thing and read it and then throw it out. People would just go crazy. He was wonderful. And so the day I got there, I was going to play. And that was the same day that that ended. And there were still people passed out on the table. So I said, is there a green room I could warm up? And I said, sure. Went downstairs. It was a cardboard enclosed little area with like chains and stuff. <laughs> and inside the cardboard area was where they kept the beer. And I'm like, okay, great. They opened the door. And I'm like, oh, okay. All these beer kegs. And, and I'm like, oh, okay. And he says, yeah, you sit on top of the beer kegs. I'm like, dude, please. He says, believe me, you'll understand. So I get on top of the beer case, uncomfortable, finally got settled, he shut the door, and I'll come down and get me in an hour. And I look down, and there's brown rats everywhere. Because oh. he turned the light off, and they just all come back out. And they're just like, you know, this building is 200 years old, 300 years old, I mean, it's just been there for years. And it's that moment that you have when you realize that everything you've done in your life has brought you to that point. <laughs> <laughs> and it is a sobering a sobering moment. So this little tune called Cover My Soul in Gasoline, which is particularly poignant for that moment. (laughs) St. Peter put me up in the hotel bar With little time to kill, I couldn't get that far Scenario complications made my exit premature and call you from the cornfield when I get the boot from here, and I will. And I will. Where the street lamp on the corner blinks keeps me occupied. I'm looking up at Atlantic Avenue where the sheets of rain reside. And pennies in my pocket, copper jingles. Coincide a symphony of telephone wires Keeps those buildings black inside I know And I know Cover my soul 
gasoline It's the only thing I know That keeps me so clean Pope and all his cardinals Who couldn't see me through And stop my inevitable suburban rendezvous Sticks and stones go roll and go tumbling down the hall. I woke up this morning, I can't see you at all. Scenario complications made my exit premature. I call you from the cornfield when I get the boot from here. And I It's the only thing I know that keeps me so clean. Pope and all his cards who couldn't see me through and stop my inevitable suburban rendezvous. Well, my good friend Hitler Jones is standing in the rain. He's holding out his hand. I won't see him again. Scenario complications made his exit premature And called me from the cornfield Now I'm right here it seems And I Yes, 
that red dress on. Honey, put that red dress, that red dress on. Mm, honey, put that red dress, red dress on. Honey, don't you stop, take that red dress on. By the grocery store floor Said I believe in you Can you help me get some more I'm a sinner and a coward And I'm hollow to the core I believe in you If you show me a sign From the floor And all my dreams And all my demons fall Get rid of this disease Let some happiness fall I saw St. Peter coming out of the back of the room. He was holding on to a track auto catalog in the gloom. Said, St. Peter, can you tell me, can I do or save this crazy world? And all my dreams and all my demons fall. Get rid of this disease. Some happiness fall on me I took my hand and covered my eyes Took my hand and covered my ears Took my hand and covered my eyes I don't have to hear
took my hand and covered my eyes Took my hand and covered my ears Took my hand and covered my eyes So I don't have to Thank you guys so much. Thank you. It's just wonderful to be to um, to be here. And since I've been, I guess I was my first experience in Texas. Yeah, and I have yeah. how high I have risen. And I was just talking with somebody about Fort Worth. Was, uh, anyway, this is a little tune called Thunderstick, and it's a nice little thing to end on.
Thank you so much. Thank you. I have to take this from my mom. Hold on. I have to take this from my mom. Uh, yeah, let's okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Hi, Mom. The sun's got a job. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody.